Now, I don't know about you, but as a solo traveler, I enjoy actually staying at hostels. But the downfall of staying at a hostel is that you're sharing or compromising your own personal space. You're sharing it with others. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five travel survival things to take in order to survive a hostel. First up, because I bring a lot of electrical devices, uh, like a camera or an iPhone, I always need to charge my battery somewhere. And when you're staying in a hostel, you're sharing that outlet, that wall outlet with everyone else. Therefore, I always bring a power strip with me of some sort. This is an American power strip. What's great about this is that, you know, other people can stick their, their devices on here too. And I don't feel like I'm hogging a space. It's also very lightweight and thin. I put my name on it so that no one can steal it. Oh. This is a Korean multi-plug charger. It has like three outlets that I can stick on here. So it's kind of like a on and off switch. I got this in Thailand, or was it Korea? One of them. It allows me to put any type of any type of plug in here. So it's kind of like an adapter plug. I can stick anything from like a US plug um, to a UK plug, as well as like an Asian plug. So like that. So. I like how my auto exposure kind of shifts right there. Um, but this is a flashlight. Very small, compact. Flashlights are a handy item to carry with you anywhere you go, anytime, whether you're staying in a hostel or not. Uh, they just come in handy. Either you'll need it to shine a light on your keyhole so that you can open the door or hmm, find your way to the bathroom in the dark. And for hostels, they're perfect because obviously when I have to wake up to go to the bathroom or if I have to leave early, then I can get ready using the flashlight without having to turn on the lights and wake everyone. Now, a couple years ago, I wrote a blog post on some of the top travel gifts to give people during the holidays and this was a great little holiday stocking stuffers. It's inexpensive. This is a flip and tumble bag. Um, I'll leave links down below to some of these products. And this is like the size of a balled up sock. What's great is that it expands into a bag. You'll see the magic pack right now. It's great for a hostel as a toiletry bag. You'll want one of these to hang um, when you're taking a shower. When I no longer want to use it, I can always ball it up. Put it in my bag again. As such. And it is good to go anywhere else that I go to. Sometimes bathrooms don't have hooks to hang these things on. In that sense, I always bring one of these. This is a hook. I can easily hang anything on this hook from my clothes, to my toiletry bag, to whatever. Whether I'm staying at a hostel, or a hotel, or a guest house, or anything like that, one thing that really freaks me out is the idea of ever coming down or catching bed bugs. This is a Sea to Summit liner. It is my favorite liner, and I've had it for over 10 years now. And I will use this not only at hostels, but I'll also use them at like nice five-star luxury hotels sometimes. It's easy to roll up this small and compact. Supposedly, bed bugs have a harder time getting through silk uh, because these are like really tightly woven. This is kind of like the body condom for travel safety and yeah, keeping bed bugs out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, product links of the things that I shared with you are down below so you can check them out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or like, subscribe to my, my channel. I'm having a hard time speaking. Uh, survive to my survive to my channel, that too. And if you have any tips or recommendations as to what's worked for you in surviving a hostel, then please leave them down below so that other people can benefit from your travel wisdom. Travel wisdom. Okay, until then, travel safe, smart, and fun.